I'm Brian and this is Brandy and um, we have 10 kids. Um, our oldest, Emma, is 19, a senior at Baylor and she is newly married. My youngest is Evan Ray. Um, Evan Ray is five mm -hmm. and has Down syndrome. Um, he is the pride and joy of our family. In between those two, the eight are working down from the top. Evelyn is 18, 18. Um, Just turned 18. Zeke is 17. Eli is 16. Isaiah is 16. Um, Elizabeth is 15. 14. 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> um, Everett is 14. And Esme is 12. Yes. 12. 12. Um, and Ezra, Ezra Luke, is seven, seven going on eight. We've been married a little over 20 years and we met in college. It's kind of a whirlwind romance and we married within 18 months and got pregnant with our Elaine, who we lovingly call Lainey, right away. And Elaine was still born at the beginning of our third trimester. When we lost Lainey, um, it was probably the most trying time in our life. Um, we it was just, it was so hard and so tragic. And we being, being newly married. And 20, we were 20 years old. And young and immature. Yeah. Um, we just really, really struggled that first year. Um, lots of tears, lots of arguments, uh, lots of depression. Um, I think that um, we, we just had a really, really difficult time. My first moment that anybody left me alone after I'd given birth to Elaine, because everybody I think was nervous to leave me to my, to my device, you know, just to myself. And Brian left the room and I remember saying out loud to the Lord, how are you ever gonna make this right? Like, how could you have done? Like, how is, like, I was so angry. And for the woman that pleaded with the Lord, to see that many stockings and see that, and I just had a conversation with one of my sons that he questioned me, why, why would you do this? And I told him, you know, when I looked at those stockings, I don't think even if God gave me the option to go back, I would choose to have her be here knowing what I know now because I know what God used her life for. And when I see those stockings, I know that my hope is not found in if this certain child behaves better. Like if he ever out overcomes this mental illness, then my life will be better. Or if Ezra, if we ever get a night nurse, then my life will be better. Because I have moments where I'm like, Lord, if we could just sleep, like I can do this if I can sleep. Or if he would just act better, then life would be good. Then we could figure out this. But what the theme God has been showing me recently is, that truly my only hope is in Christ. I definitely have moments where I question and I'm like, what are you thinking? How is this, you know, how can we handle all this? But there are those sweet moments where God definitely reminds me that in the brokenness of their story and the brokenness of our story, like he allowed us to come together as a family. And um, God, I can absolutely say that God is good, that God, um, is enough if I didn't have any of those stockings up there and we had just lost Elaine, I hope that I would still say and believe that God is enough. 